Sea Guntalinib. I am from the Philippines. I am visually impaired and I have been totally blind since 2006 due to a very rare retinal disease which caused permanent damage to my optic nerve. Uh, currently, I am working as a full-time database developer in a telecommunications company here in the Philippines called Smart Communications. I am also working as a part-time English teacher to Korean students and, well, I, I put a huge amount of my time in web accessibility-related stuffs whenever I do have the free time. Um, most people, especially those whom I meet for the first time, whenever they find out what course did I finish in college or what, what type of work I do, they, they usually ask me how, how did I manage to finish school or how do I do my work. People ask me this, people ask me that. So to answer that question, I have an assistive tool called Screen Reader. It is a text-to-speech software which basically converts um, all the textual elements you see on the screen into audio outputs. So in its easiest sense, it, it makes my computer talk. Um, there are actually several screen readers available out there, but uh, personally, the, the, the one that I use most often is called Job Access with Speech or JAWS. Um, do I have a special computer? No. Do I use a special keyboard? Well, definitely not. The only difference is, uh, as I mentioned, I have JAWS installed in my machine. Uh, I don't use the mouse. I completely rely on the keyboard. So yeah, basically we just need to memorize the keyboard and okay, so that's it. Okay, so let me give you a very, very short demonstration on how JAWS works. And in this video, I'll be using JAWS version 17. So I'll be showing you how to access different programs, different files, applications here in my computer using JAWS. Also, I will show you how JAWS works inside a word processing application. So in this case, I'll be using Microsoft Word. And lastly, I'll just show you how I'm browsing the internet or I'm navigating the web using JAWS. So again, let me just point out, this is just a very high level demonstration, meaning I won't go down into details because my main goal here is to simply show you how a screen reader works. Okay, so the first thing that I would do is to go inside the desktop environment and try to check what applications or what, what programs or applications I can find inside my desktop environment. So to do that, I'm going to press the Windows key plus letter D. Windows D. Okay, to check if I'm already inside the desktop environment, I'm just going to press Title is desktop. insert plus letter T so it announces desktop. So by the way, since I'm already running JAWS here in my machine, the insert key automatically becomes the JAWS key. So whenever I pair it up with any other character or key, uh, it executes a command that you know performs a particular task. So now that I know that I'm inside the desktop environment, I could simply use the arrow keys to move around. Desktop, folder, view, list, view, Dropbox, 20 of 26. To move the items, use the arrow keys. To edit the selected item, press F2. Easy PHP, dash dev server, dash 14.1. Easy PHP. Old dash JAWS 16.0. Uh, the old <laughs> JAWS version that I'm using. Skype. Skype etc etc and in my case since of course this is my personal computer I already know what are the icons that I can find inside my desktop environment so I could simply press the first letter of the icon that I want to access for example let's say I want to launch a web browser um, say for example I want to open Internet Explorer so I'll just press letter I until I hear JAWS announces Internet Explorer I, Internet Explorer then I'll press enter to, to open or to activate this icon. Enter. Internet Explorer. So in this case, New tab page. to open a browser. Forms mode. So there are actually other ways on how to access applications, like going inside the start menu or 
I could also activate the search box by pressing the Windows key. Menu, search box, edit, type text, and edit, field, or press up or down arrow to move through items. And when I hear just say search edit, I could simply type in the application that I want to open. Say for example, I want to open WordPad. So I'll just type W O R D P A Word D WordPad. Then press enter. Enter menu. Document dash WordPad. Rich text window edit. Type text. Then the application opens. So basically, that is how I open different programs or different files, different applications here in my computer using JAWS. So moving on, now let's take a look inside the Microsoft Office Word environment. So I'm going to launch a blank Word document. Windows R, run dialog, type the name of a program, full W, I, N, W, O, R, D. Enter desktop folder view list view Internet Explorer 23 of 26 to move to items use the arrow keys to edit the selected item press F2 cancel button to activate press space bar document 1 dash Microsoft Word print view edit and in this part I also want to show you how I type or how I read documents using JAWS so first before anything else let me adjust the speaking rate Let's reduce the speed so that everyone watching this video could clearly understand what Joss is saying. Slower, 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 slower. Okay, so the first thing that I would do is I'll type words and sentences which I could read and try to edit and format in a little while. R H E A space A L T H E A space G U N T A L I L I B. So in this case, I type my name. If you notice, every time that I hit a key in the keyboard, JAWS announces what letter I pressed. Enter, enter. Okay, so I'll add up more sentences. T A R S space I S space T A E space L I R S T A R A G R A T H period space T H E Q U R S A B R R B space B R O S L O S J U M E S O V R S T A E L A Z W A S D O G period space T H I S I S A O T A E R space L A F E L E S E F E S E E period space T A R S I S T E E N D O F S T A E S P A R A G R A T H period space Okay, there you go. So now that I have typed um, stuffs here in my document or in my blank word document, so the next question is, how will I read this text? So Top of to do that, well, it depends on how I want to read the text that I have written here. I could read it line by line by simply pressing the up and down arrow keys. Blank. This is the first paragraph. The quick round fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is another sample. Sentence. This is the end of the paragraph. This is the or I could also read it letter by letter by pressing the left or right arrow keys. H. I. S. Space. I. S. Space. Or I could also read it word by word by pressing control plus the left or right arrow keys. Is the first paragraph. Period. So basically that is how I type and that is how I read what I have typed or that is how I'm able to read whatever documents or books or you know any any other stuffs here in my computer. Top of, of course we're not just limited to typing. We could also edit and format the document that we have created. So say for example here in my case I want to um, uh, put my name in the center of the document. So what I'll do is oh. I'm going to select my whole name. Selected. Reality and then I'm gonna <clears throat> use a Windows command, a built-in Windows command, which is Control plus letter E to put my name in the center. Centered. And I can press Control B so that the text would be bolded. Bold on. Blend. And then this is the first for the paragraph, home. I can select the entire paragraph. Selected. This is the first paragraph, period. The quick round fox jumps over the lazy dog, period. This is another sample sentence, period. This is the end of the paragraph, period. And I could press Control J to justify. Justified. Top of file. So that is how we apply modifications or changes in the documents that we make. Of course, there are several different ways. Um, the first thing is, just like what I did, um, I simply use different built-in Windows command to apply whatever changes that I want to 
to, to integrate into my document or I could also go to the toolbars or I could activate for example to change the font I could simply activate the font dialog box by pressing Control D, font Control, dialog, the font page. D and do whatever modifications that I want um, inside this I mean do whatever uh, sorry do whatever changes or modifications that I want to apply in my document through this dialog box escape print okay so you're probably wondering um, okay since I could not see the screen so how would I know if the changes have applied how would I know if um, my document looks good or if the format is properly it, or, or if the document is properly formatted or is the pro is the document edited properly are there typo errors how do I know if the the letters are in the uppercase or in the lowercase well there there there's actually a way to do all those things but as I mentioned a while ago this is just a high-level demo so I, I won't really <laughs> Um, dig down into how how do I do that let's you know let's let's save that for some other time um, well <clears throat> basically that is how I navigate or that is how I use different MS Office applications such as Microsoft Word same concept applies to Microsoft Excel we could also create uh, visually appealing presentations in Microsoft PowerPoint so yeah that's that's possible for us through the help of JAWS also in this mean it the, the recent version which is JAWS 17 already works well with SharePoint so yeah so basically you know you're able to manipulate the computer and access different programs and applications because of JAWS or because of screen readers okay Okay, so the last thing that I'm going to show you is on how I browse the internet, how I navigate the web using JAWS. Um, so the concept is pretty much the same. It still reads all the textual elements that are found on the screen and converts them into audio outputs. Um, so that, that made it possible for us to do research that made it possible for us to participate into uh, different social media platforms such as Facebook Twitter and we could also do text or voice chat via applications such as Skype and many more <laughs> actually the extent of what we can do in the internet depends on the concept called web accessibility but course you won't discuss that and save that for some other time so uh, let me start what I'm gonna do right now is say for example I want to uh, read about a particular topic oh by the way if if you are using JAWS um, there are hotkeys assigned so that it would be easier for us to browse the internet so say for example letter H can be used to move from one heading to the other um, I could press letter B to move from one button to the other or I could press letter E to move from one edit field to the other and there are many more <laughs> so in this case um, I'm gonna press letter E to go to the search engine to the search box search edit. and Josh said search edit so I'm gonna press Space, new tab page. Region search edit. Bar to activate the form field and I could start typing so let's say I want to read about web accessibility so I'll just type W E B space A C C E S S I I L I T Y edit web accessibility web accessibility then I'm gonna press escape to go out of this um, edit box escape virtual PC cursor I'm gonna press letter B to look for the search button Google search button then I'm gonna press enter. enter. Web accessibility dash Google search. Web accessibility dash Google search. Web accessibility dash Google search. And wait for the results. <clears throat> Screen updated. Okay. So now I know that the results are presented in heading form, so I could simply press 
letter H to move from one heading to the other. Google heading level one link graph web privacy and web accessibility dash testing and train web accessibility checker dash and search results heading level two web accessibility dash Wikipedia the free encyclopedia heading level three introduction to web accessibility heading level three link visited. Say for example, I want to read this document, Introduction to Web Accessibility, so I'll just press enter. Enter. Introduction to Web Accessibility, heading level 3, link visited. Introduction to Web Accessibility, Introduction to Web Accessibility, Introduction to Web Accessibility, page has 11 headings and 74 links. Introduction to Web Accessibility, list of two items, screen up the difficult or impossible for many, my web accessibility. So once the page loaded, um, so well, basically I could start reading the content. I could use tab, I could press H, or I could use any navigational keys or... The, simply the arrow keys to read the content. Blank. The web is an increasingly important resource in many aspects of life, colon, education, employment, government, commerce, healthcare, recreation. It is essential that the web be accessible. And there you go. So basically that that is how we, you know, read contents or research from the internet. So now let's take a look on something more exciting. <laughs> so let me let me open my Facebook account. Control O open dial. F A C E B O O K P R C O M. Enter introduction to web accessibility dash internet explorer. The web is an increasingly important resource in many aspects of life, colon, education, employment, government, commerce, healthcare, recreation, and more. Screen updated. Title is Facebook dash inter Okay. I regarded this as something exciting. Not because this is my Facebook account. Left parent to right <laughs> Definitely not. But because, you know, <clears throat> whenever I go online, people are wondering, especially when, you know, I, I start chatting with them here in Facebook. I start posting... Um, stuffs, I comment, you know, they, they wonder, they really wonder, they are very curious as to, they are very curious as to how a blind person like me um, <laughs> uses Facebook. So, okay, let's check if the page is loaded. Title is left parent to right parent Facebook dash internet explore. It said Facebook, so I'll just try to, well, well basically the navigational, um, the, so, so basically, the way to navigate this is pretty much the same. Um, <clears throat> I can use different hotkeys in order to move from one area to the other. So, say for example, I could just press the arrow keys. Banner, same page blank, heading level one, link Facebook. I could press Favorites heading level four. letter H. Pages heading level four. Until I hear my Apps heading level four, links. links. Groups more heading level four, friends heading level four, interests heading level four, link rest list, like. Suggested groups heading levels, newsfeed heading level two. There you go. It said newsfeed, so I could just press story article, story options button menu collapsed. The arrow key or um, press letter H again. So well, basically, I won't. Of course, <laughs> I won't. I won't um, check the content of my Facebook account at the moment because what's important is I was able to to show you that it's very possible for us to, you know, to access social media platforms such as this one. So there you go. Four, profile call. I hope you learned something and watch out for more videos. Thank you.